Alright guys, how you doing today? This is Andy Omar and today I'm going to talk about why do foreigners always complain about the Philippines? Okay, so the short answer is they are broke. Honestly, they are broke. They always complain about the Philippines because they are broke. Supposedly, you know, these people are on social security or they're on some kind of budget, right? That's like under a thousand dollars or under a thousand five hundred, under two thousand dollars. So they have a budget under two thousand dollars and these bloggers have been telling them that, you know, you could live like a king in the Philippines. You could live you could live well in the Philippines. You would love it in the Philippines. You could be a rock star in the Philippines because you're gonna get yourself some young, beautiful woman, you know, who's like 18 years old, even though you're 75, you know? But these bloggers have been feeding wrong information this whole time. These bloggers are only gonna tell you the nice shit because that's where they get their money from. They're selling you a dream. When I used to talk about, you know, relationship and how blog, how, how old guys cannot get any poon, they would go wild. They would trigger them. They get triggered so bad. Oh, Andy Omar, I'm gonna, you always curse too much. Oh, you're so negative, Andy Omar. And it, these are guys that never came to the Philippines, right? And, you know, they're like 300 pounds with no passport and Oh, you're so negative about the Philippines, Andy Omar. I'm like, bro, I've been living here. I know. Even at my age, I'm way younger than a lot of guys here. And still, I'm considered old. So imagine that. Anyway. So, the one reason they complain is because, of course, they, you know, they live like a king. They, that's what they were promised. They, um... They say everything is cheap in the Philippines and that is wrong. A big misconception, especially on 2024. It's expensive in the Philippines, man. Like you could go to a you could go to a fast food place. You're going to spend at least 500 pesos right there, 10 bucks. Automatically. Burger King like around 600, like a decent meal for two is around 600 pesos. There are some burger savers and stuff like for 300, but you're not going to get full. That's the one. I mean, a Filipino person can get full, not an expat stomach, mind you, because expats eat twice as much as a Filipino would. And that's the thing a lot of people don't consider, that for foreigners eat way more than Filipinos because they burn more calories and stuff. They walk around more. They're more active. Unlike Filipinos, they eat a little bit. You know, they would take the they wouldn't do a lot of long walks but when they do they at least eat a lot as well so yeah the food is expensive i mean for a decent middle class food at least for a meal for two it's gonna be around a thousand two hundred a thousand five hundred middle class mind you and the one i said 600 pesos that's the lower class thing man so middle class around a thousand five hundred, upper class three thousand pesos and up, and that's being. Well, no, that's upper middle class, for a two probably like. Let, let's say if it's a rich Filipinos, it'll be ten thousand and up, <laughs> for a nice dinner. And that is the thing a lot of guys can't fathom that there are rich Filipinos here in the Philippines. But these foreigners, they come in with less than $2,000 a month and they think they're richer than everybody else. And then they complain when they don't get the same service as the rich Filipino does. They complain. That's the reason they complain. They see the rich Filipino dude in their, in their vehicles, in their SUVs, in their Escalades. Yeah. And they still it's like they're jealous or something they're like oh i'm from the u.s and i have a pension and they can't comprehend why these filipino guys have a very nice vehicle very good looking cars you know 2024 20, and shit 
they cannot comprehend why they have these nice Nissan trucks. They cannot comprehend why there's like, they got BMWs up in here. They cannot comprehend why they got Mercedes Benz all over the place. They cannot comprehend why there's a bunch of Gucci, you know, selling at different multiple stores. If it's so poor, why are there so many Gucci stores out here? Why are there so many Prada stores out here? Why is there so many guests? But why is there all these stores? Why is there all these Rolex locations? Why are there all these malls? Because it's not, in, it's not a cheap place. Maybe Philippines used to be cheap, but not anymore. Not anymore, especially after the pandemic. There's a lot of factors out there. You know, these guys cannot comprehend why there's so many gyms out there. You know, gyms that are over 2,000 pesos a month. They cannot comprehend, you know, they're like, oh my God, this is too expensive. It's like the United States. You know, they compare it to their YMCA uh, and Planet, Planet Fitness subscriptions because they were cheap back in the States, right? Um, they, they cannot comprehend why the gas is so expensive in the Philippines. Like currently, right now, it's 58 pesos a liter. They cannot comprehend why is there so many Texas Roadhouse restaurants, Denny's restaurants. There's so many steakhouses here in the Philippines, Italian pizzas and all this. Yet it's filled with Filipinos. It's not filled with foreigners. The reason why they complain is because they eat at the cheap places. They eat at the cheap places where they're mismanaged, it's amateur business people. And when they go there, they're like, it's out of stock. Of course things are, are out of stock. It's an amateur business person. It's a carinderia. Like, of course it's gonna be out of stock. They're not well trained for this kind of business. As you would think you are, as they would think they are. Because a lot of these fucking bums, why are they under 2,000 if they're so professionals, right? If they're so professionals in their business or whatever, why are, why do they have budgets under $2,000 a month, right? But they love complaining. They love complaining about, you know, the jeepneys and the trikes, how expensive it is, supposedly. But they don't know the big market that it's out there. They're complaining about the red horse now. It's 150, 180, 200. But they don't complain. What, but the Filipinos don't complain, and they're all, uh, there's a bunch of them out there drinking it, spending their money. They're, you know, they cannot comprehend these things. They cannot comprehend why they go to the store and there's like certain bathrooms that are not clean and all that stuff because they go to the mediocre places. They go to the places that are understaffed and that's why they are cheap of course if you are what you see if you're gonna go to a let's say a restaurant it's like 150 you know pesos per meal you're not gonna get the best service or the best cleaning service out there I'm, I'm telling you that straight out they think they live like kings they complain about why is this expensive uh, uh, immigration oh my god a lot of these dudes complain about immigration on how the, I want to avoid the express lane. They are charging me a thousand pesos extra. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. For a thousand pesos, you're fucking crying? Damn. That's how broke they are when it's a thousand pesos down the line? Imagine that. Foreigners out there, when their apartment is less than 20,000 pesos, like 10,000 peso apartment, and it's... Not and then they complain about the rooster noise. They complain about the video. Okay, they come You know if your if your apartment is less than 25,000 pesos You have no goddamn right to complain about the video. Okay the parties the noise the roosters No goddamn way unless you live in a condo or something like yeah, okay But really those are still middle class to lower class neighborhoods and you're really, a lot of these guys, they go with the under under 15,000 peso apartments. And that is way lower, that is lower class. And of course you're going to find their roosters, kibidioke, addictions, like alcohol, 
stuff like that. Of course, it, it's it's common when you go in the ghetto. Let, let's say you go to Compton. Like these guys, they've been sheltered in their country. Like let's say let's say they're from Wisconsin or Toronto or some or like you know Quebec or some kind of butthole place, right? Or somewhere in England where it's like a rural area. Then they go. They never been to a ghetto before. They never been to a minority area before. They don't know the culture. They have then, of course, they want to complain. Then they want to complain afterwards after never experiencing another culture in their own country. They want to complain here in the Philippines. They go online, make faceless uh, accounts because goddamn. God forbid if they find who they are, so they make these fake accounts, and then they try to talk how bad the Philippines is. 